Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. This is the Foreign Love Oracle. And the cards that came out is Betrayal, Watchful, and Friendship. So something in regards to the situation is where a friend betrayed you and now you're watchful over every situation and you had to walk away. This could be friend, this could be foe, this could be um, a love situation, this could be friends, it could be any. I said friends already, it could be family, it could be any situation. And so what I'm going to pull from is the West of T deck to get a little bit more clarification. Um, again, I can't stress enough for you guys to like, share, subscribe, and then hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. A lot of people haven't been getting my notifications, and a lot of people have been unsubscribed uh, automatically. And so if you guys can go in and check to see whether you're still subscribed, I would, that would mean a lot to me. So what's the T in regards to this situation? Somebody, yeah, threatening, intimidating, uh, and bothered. And it says drama starter. So this person not only betrayed you, they uh, tried to threaten you with, um, like, uh, a certain, he yeah, had too busy winning, with a certain uh, situation to where you had to really walk away. And it was like, um, not you being intimidating, but you probably were, no, not them being intimidating to you. The, you being intimidating to them and that's the reason why they felt the need to betray you but they started a lot of bull crap when it came to the situation and you know your emotions when it comes to this is why we're pulling from the true emotions deck is because nobody is threatening to you people can threaten you or threaten to say oh okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that if you do this yeah but at the end of the day they're gonna end up upset because yeah moving on, letting you go under pressure, family. This is somebody that is somebody who you considered a family member. This could be somebody you had a friendship with, but at this point, you had to move on and let go um, uh, because, yeah, it says moving on, letting go, loving you, and then it says free. You had to free yourself from the situation, but there was a whole lot of drama again twice. Endings, loss, mental breakdown, karma, drama, and uh, fire start, storm. So you had to go through this situation. Oh, so I just moved my uh, dice. And I had Gemini. Uh, excuse me. I had Cancer here. Now Gemini is up at the top. And then uh, number 11. So that can mean something to you. Uh, yeah. So the thing is, is that you had to get out of this situation and try to see it from a new light. And again, it was too dramatic for you. You're, you're too busy winning to be under pressure. But... At some point, you know, it says decision time running out and under pressure. This whole situation made you feel some type of way. So the only thing that you knew you had to do and only could do was to walk away because at some point the matters of the heart and the matters of the mind mean a lot to you when it comes to you overthinking about making decisions. And also when it comes to the heart, you want to, you know, see the benefit in every situation, especially when it comes to somebody you consider family uh, or a friend. Yeah, you had to build your own foundation and open heart. Again, like I say, your empathetic nature, basically receptive and vulnerable. Your energy when it comes to how you, you, you know, you want to give the benefit of a doubt to a person makes you feel trapped. And at that same point, being trapped, you have to be able to know that only time will tell. And that's where the time comes in at a feeling under pressure and chasing thrills, excitement and having a good time. This is not a good time for you at all. And so, therefore, you had to, whoa, where's the fourth, third dice? Did it? Where did the third dice go? I had three dice in my hand. That's odd. Okay. Oh, right here. Number seven. Look at that. Um, I didn't even see that. Number seven, this same uh, card, I think it's male uh, energy. And then uh, what is this? Um, let me think about what I'm trying to say. This is, uh, duh, 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 duh. I think this is Capricorn energy. Yeah, I think it might be Capricorn energy. Uh, that's right here. I don't know. I can't remember the the way that it goes. You guys tell me, is this Capricorn? Look. I think that's Capricorn. But, yeah. So, you know, I think that's the energy that you've been a part of. And uh, the thing is, is that you have to 
I always want to keep cancer up. You had to look at things in a different way and know that these are cycles, these are moments that you have to go through in order for you to be able to understand what true family, what true meaning is, a foundation family here. And you know what? You are messed up. It would be. Somebody is going to be fucked up over you because that's what it says, and you can feel trapped. But at some point, you have to learn when to hold them and fold them and set yourself free from a situation. Yeah, prosperity begins when you um, build that foundation, understand that, this is the um, Ace of Wands energy. You know, you have to have the willpower, power, and the desire to be able, and the courage to be able to plant these seeds and move forward. And sometimes it comes with you understanding and learning the truth, which is judgment facing yourself. You have to face the situation and not really under, not really take it too serious uh, when it comes to how somebody else makes you feel. There is a seed here at the bottom of this uh, card. Um, so you could be planting peaches or you could live in Georgia, one of the two, but there's a peach tree here. There's also butterflies here telling you that it's okay to start over. There's a seed there, and there's the roots uh, being uh, built. And the truth is, when it comes to the scales being here, you have to be able to weigh, outweigh the scales. It can't be with you dealing with somebody else, which is judgment energy facing yourself and understanding the difference of, you know, how prosperity b begins and its movement choices and decisions. Yeah. So you had to move forward in order to establish a foundation for yourself and know that the betrayal will come. But sometimes you just have to know that 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 betrayal comes because it want to keep you, you know, tied down. But victory comes when you have when you learn that there's options for you. You know, it's money here. There is um, uh, rings. There is a plant. And there's other doors that you have the choices to be able to go into. This is two of wands energy, making a decision. This is planning and leaving. But this is you also, again, facing your truth and uh, recognizing, yeah, all wands energy out here. You know, the wands are fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And so, you know, this is recognizing your reward. You're going to be successful and be able to chase your dreams and be excited and have a good time. But you have to get out of the negative energy or get away from the negative energy, if that makes sense. So you went on a spiritual journey. So I'm going to pull from the spiritual journey deck, uh, Oracle deck, to see what comes out. But, yeah, the, you know, the thing is, is that, when you realize what you what it takes to have courage, sometimes you have to walk away from the things that seem like, you know, you're afraid to. And that's sometimes family. You have to unlearn and relearn. And that's for you to seek the things that you need out of life. It says yearning for knowledge. You are a student of life for a strong curiosity for deeper meaning. Again, you recognizing your truths. The other cards that come out is telepathy. You and another are connected in the spirit realm and can transmute thoughts and emotions. So this could be somebody who you felt like was a family member. It could be love, a love per a loved one. But you have to send strength and healing to a person, place, thing, or situation and move forward with the things that you seek and the obstruction here. It says there is a roadblock to overcome. Understanding why it is there. It says it could be for uh, for protection or simply requires an alternative solution. So that's what you have to really understand where the betrayal comes in and how you need to see it and how you need to look out at it and and set yourself free from it and walk away. It says the twin soul, it says you have incarnated and you have incarnated in this lifetime with your divine counterpart. This complex connection is intended to strip away outdated beliefs and bring high vib vibrations uh, vibration love to the world and so that is where you're going to be successful you just got to know what the definition of family is and also what trauma and wounds are it says deep familiar familia and past life wounds are causing an impact in this life identify repetitive patterns to allow healing and releasing so that is why you had to walk away because you know being too busy to win you can you can win and you can deal with people that are winning all day but if you don't change your mind frame and really understand how it is you got to this point then you know that is an obstruction to you and you're going to always feel trapped and so i'm going to pull from the surrender cards i've never used these um at all i just was going through my card decks um the boxes and i'm like oh shoot i didn't even know i had these i see a lot of people using these and i'm going to use them how about that so you need to surrender to do 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 Surrender to surrender your need, your need to always be right, and also surrender your addictions. See, this is a part of your addictions dealing with the betrayal and giving people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, the addictions come with loving the wrong people or understanding that 
their trauma and their wounds are something that you can fix. You can't fix anybody's trauma or wounds. It says whether you're addicted to substance, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And so that's what you're doing is walking away, and that's going to cause you to be too busy to win, but to also recognize your rewards and deal with and learn why the trauma and wounds are a thing that um, you focus on or that are magnet uh, that uh, gravitate towards you, if, if that's um, if I'm saying that right, or the things that you stick to. I always tell my son, you you know, sometimes he can be like a sponge, you know, and wipe up, you know, clean up milk, but you can if you don't clean it out, it'll start to stink. And so you, the things that you attract and the things that you keep dealing with are you have to learn why you keep doing that and why it keeps making you feel trapped. Surrender to the need to be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. By yielding, not rigid, it says this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. So sometimes you just got to let somebody feel like they're right. Sometimes you just can't fix everything. Sometimes you can't try to explain or try to get the answer for betrayal or for understanding on how somebody is. You just have to understand that this is a part of your addictions and codependent energies is what it's called, basically. And you have to be able to surrender and move forward if that makes sense and let them let them have their peace let them have what it is because you know my mom always said her her father said hard head make a soft ass so again you know hard head people have to learn their own lessons just like you have to learn and understand that you're hard headed yeah chip paint you have to be able to love somebody for their imperfections their flaws and the layers that they have going on the calculator is here financial strain money problems and survival you have to calculate you have to make calculated risk when it comes to oh yeah look at this the dark times and Un unsure being unsure about the dark times being closed off guilt and regrets so there people are always going to have imperfections but you have to make a calculated risk when it comes to how you give how you you know constantly uh, help people get out of survival mode because and it turns around and makes you be in survival mode as well and also the camouflage, incognito, and de adaption comes with cutting out and severing ties, you know, sending strength and healing and understanding that you have to seek justice for yourself. You have to understand you have to love people from distance. That's where the telepathy card comes in at because this will obstruct your growth, and that's why that card is there. The hidden feelings, secrets, and illusions have to be uh, put to a minimum when it comes to dealing with having to know when to hold them, when to fold them, when to surrender to your addictions and walk away but this mirroring things is a reflection again um, when it comes to you being in the judgment energy facing yourself and self-awareness you have to understand why the um, imperfections of everyone else why you try to fix them that's your codependent nature that's how you love but this also makes you go with the flow and be considered a chameleon adapt to certain situations and um, until you're tired of doing that and that's when you end up uh, taking things personally, uh, flashing or lashing out on people, and then uh, eventually walking away. This is the archetype deck. I'm going to go ahead and pull from this. The card tried to come out crushed. Yeah, when you crush on people, when you crush on people, and when you, you really see the potential in somebody, and you see that their trauma and their wounds, water energy, when their trauma and their wounds, you try to create um, a different picture you see a potential in them and you look towards the future and it's like oh I can be a part of this but you're you need to create the things for yourself and really recognize why you uh, you know keep taking calculated risk for other people and you know basically people that you love because you start to manifest for the other people and your gypsy soul just keeps going with the flow if you ever watch and look at uh, gypsies uh, on TV they are always in those tiny homes are what they call it. I'm a gypsy. I love it. But the tiny homes, you know, they always have the tiny homes on wheels. They live out of their, they live on the road. They live out of their, their uh, trunks. They do those things and it makes them happy and they pick up people on along the way. And this is the earth, their earthly nature, if that makes sense. And um, that is like pinnacle energy. You know, you, you're able to survive, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy pinnacles you know um which is you know you being able to survive and um i'm trying to think um how i want to say that uh without being offensive 
but you're able to manifest and, you know, go through it when it comes to the pinnacles, earth energy, because you're nurturing, you know, you're able to nurture certain situations. And, um, you know, this is like physical energy. You know, you're able to nurture the energies of, of you taking action. And, you know, when things don't feel right for a gypsy, guess what they do? They get up and they leave, you know, but they're always creating things and, you know, to sell, to be able to provide, to be able to do things, you know, food, whatever it is, that's what a gypsy does and perform. Yeah, gypsies perform, you know, so, you know, you're able to be a magician in your own life, but at the same time, it makes you numb because you're, you're letting people in and out of your life because you're in a different city every day, or you are numb to the fact that, you know, of your emotions and always trying to worry about what you're going to do next for the, the, your family, you know, for, uh, the people who you love, the people, uh, you know, the jobs, the, the situationships, all of those things. And that's us water energy. And, you know, so that is where it comes to you having to understand that, you know, this is your emotions that you're dealing with and dealing with those emotions, which are the moon energy, uh, you know, it's it's your secrets, your hidden feelings, and the illusions that you give to people by you reflecting and being a chameleon too because you see the things that they need. You see their reflection. You understand what they're going to, but that's your codependent nature of you always trying to be um, be a be um, a cushion for them, if that makes sense. Oh, well, uh, this card tried to come out, the change and courage with the yin, yin and yang deck. So that coming out, you're trying to give people courage to change uh, from their hurt and their wounds and their trauma. But that energy comes and it sticks to you. And that's when you start to feel trapped in your own environment. And it's like it's a, the crab in the barrel bucket uh, method, met, method is, yeah, unsure about awakening. And if, yeah, here we go, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Earth energy comes out twice unsure about whether this person will ever re awaken and remember who you are as a person seeds so yeah back to planting the seeds here you know ace of, ace of wands energy you are planting seeds this could be springtime coming up right or it's springtime this summer now but in the springtime you know everything starts to grow and flourish but what you're doing is that you're um you're trying to get them, encourage them to be great or to be better than what they are. And here it is, you come to a situation to where you feel trapped because you keep going with the flow and um, just tired of um, seeing them struggle and, you know, try to fix their imperfections, you know, by looking at the future and saying, I know in the future, this person can be this, this person can be that, but that's your nurturing energy that you always uh, end up going back to. And, you know, this is like your spirit. This is who you are in the spirit. And when I say spirit, right, the earth energy, it's like you allow the earth to move you. Uh, and that's what gypsies do. Okay, if it's starting to rain, right, the gypsy is, you know, going to leave. They're going to go to another town. And so if you're unsure about what the universe has for you, the only thing you can do is be a nurturer and and um, to um, – um, love on the situation that you're in at this point, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm saying that right, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But once you start to evolve, which is why I'm pulling from the evolution of the soul, once you start to evolve, then you really start to focus on what the addictions are for you or your toxicities or your codependent natures, and you start to, you know, take things personally like, I can't believe, yeah, the pleading. If you guys... I ran into this guy, old soul. Yeah, that's just who you are as old soul. I ran into this guy, and we talked about the Pleiadians and all the different um, um, types of supernatural aliens or whatever you want to call them. But the LVL3 consciousness, and, um, yeah, it says you understand polarity and balance, and that's you being this and reflecting and knowing that, you know, you understand the differences in people and in their pain and their trauma. It says here to help the human race evolve, challenger of social norms. So that's what you do. And so the LVL3 consciousness says you're becoming more sensitive. Begin 
uh, begin to ask philosophical questions, start to act on your own values. And that's when the universe tells you to walk away, understand your your addictions and your codependent nature of trying to fix people because you see potential in them. But what you're trying to fix is the trauma and the wounds that they need to fix for themselves, right? And so the old soul says the search for balance and completion. Back to where we are, you're searching for balance. And this is you facing your truth that you're not going to be able to balance out the scales when it comes to somebody that's not ready to fix the things that they want. It says a lesson, spiritual awareness and teacher or teachings. And it says the traits, why spiritual detached and deep. You're very deep. You're a very, very deep soul. You're a Pleiadian, you know, at heart. And so the Pleiadians are here again to, you know, um, help the human race evolve. But that's where your old soul comes from and why you always want to nurture and heal and you see, you know, and you're very patient with others because this is who you are, you know, and the truth is, is that you have to face yourself and be able to know that you're going to go from city to city or from lesson to lesson until you really understand who you are. Oh, I hit my bracelet on my microphone. Sorry, that was loud. But um, who you are when it comes to surrendering to your addiction, my microphone is right here. So it's like here, see it? And yeah, the metal thing. So, you know, who you are and what it is that you, you know, can do for this world. And that's all you're here to do. But you cannot, you know, help people with their trauma and wounds unless they're ready to be helped, unless they want help from you. Until then, you're just going to keep going around and around and be uh, manifesting things for people until the truth is you have to face yourself. So that is how I see that energy, um, if that makes sense. I'll pull from the finance deck to see what you're working on financial um the only thing i can kind of see when it comes to this type of energy look this card is in here uh chart compatibility yeah if you haven't checked their, their chart already could 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 be your charts aligned perfectly or learning more about them could be you in your relationship i have never had that card that was first but chart compatibility maybe you need to check that that's um uh twin uh, no that's twin flame what is that soulmate energy so uh, maybe you need to check that with the people that you've been dealing with and you keep going around and around with. But again, you already know nine times out of ten, it's your compatibility chart. Yeah, teacher here and you will find success. Again, it's going to come to you, but you have to be patient. It says um, you may uh, feel tired and out of balance. The universe is forcing you to rest and recover. When I get to a point to where I know I have no control over things or certain things, the only thing I do, I'm not telling you a lie. I'm going to get in my bed and I lay down and I just let things happen the way they're supposed to. And it says money may be slow in coming in or unsatisfied with your fin or coming in or unsatisfied with your finances. So this could be you trying to figure out a way to recreate. I um, mean, it says divine timing is, is at hand. It will require having faith while you, sh you are shown the way. And that's what I do. I know that success is going to come to me. I have to sit still. I'm not going to spew my negative energy. I'm not going to combine negative energy uh, with these readings. I cannot do it. Um, it's just, that's just me, you know? Um, and uh, I go from there. So let's just go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then we'll pull from the four agreements. If you want to know four agreement, it, uh, what my per interpretation is, the links will be above. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Okay, so we have don't take anything personal. Don't take anything personal. In ignore the opinions of others. It says, whether people do feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So whatever you think, about you is not about you, but it's about them. So again, people are going to always deter you and try to make you and betray you and try to make you feel, um, you know, certain types of way. But the only thing that you can do is just understand that, you know, it's time for you to be able to ground yourself and go from there. So ignore how people feel about you when you decide to walk away and make the calculated decisions for yourself. And the celestite is... Uh, throat, third eye, and crown chakra, angelic communication, which it already says you communicate through, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, where was that? You communicate through uh, uh, telepathy somewhere in here, but um, in clarity, divine expression and clarity. Eternal light fills my being. Eternal light fills my being, and that is what you need to know. So do me a favor, you guys, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, Red Hearts, you made it through. 
Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. Mina, have my back because I have yours. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. And it says, say yes to the things you think you can't do. And that might be the gift to you. Because they're a gift. I love you guys. Bye-bye.